So let's get ready for a nice stretch, yeah? I want you just to sit on your feet so you will feel a bit, uh, nice stretch on your ankle. Yeah, if you find it too difficult, you can just uh, sit with your uh, leg crossed. All you need to now is uh, focus on your wrist, yeah? Mobilize a bit your wrist. I'm going right to the left, and then I turn around left to the right. Okay? Every exercise that we are doing now, I want you to try to do this for one minute. Um, we'll be doing now together 30 seconds only. So at least um, you stop the video each time uh, to do a few more uh, seconds on your own, or you can just repeat the video and do it again, okay? Let's do two times at least 30 seconds and repeat, or one minute to complete this. So, we mobilize and move with your wrist, and then we stretch and focus on that wrist. Just here, in a sitting position, so at the same time, a quote saying uncle, you're getting a stretch. Let's hold 30 seconds, pulling your finger down, yeah, and towards you. Feel a nice stretch on your forearms. When we are stretching, remember, you don't want to feel any pain, okay? Never feeling any pain, just a nice stretch, nice and gentle. I'm finished now on my left, and I switch. I can feel really a lot of tension through my forearms. This is a really nice stretch, not only when you do a handstand, because um, when you go upside down, your wrists, they get a lot of stress, and then it goes to your forearms. Also, when you do um, a lot of pulling, you know, when you do pull-ups, or when you do deadlift with the barbell or cleans, your forearms, because of your grip, they get really tense, so you can do that as well. So we are holding 30 seconds each arm, and now we go to a chance position, but we still sitting here when you do eagle pose so my left arm go underneath my right side and i try to grab yeah my fingertips i want you hold here for another 30 seconds with me and then you can repeat to focus on this stretch that uh, it will be really targeting your middle back yeah behind on your shoulder you can lift it up a bit and you can if you can see now better from this position, you can push your fingertips out, okay? For me, just keeping it close is plenty, okay? So we did 30 seconds and we will switch side and it's really difficult for me to really reach on this side. I can just grab here my forearm or my uh, wrist, but then Another variation of this movement is just stretch, you know, grab your uh, elbow and push towards you. You feel a nice stretch on your upper body. So you can do this as a modification if you think that uh, going at eagle pose position is too, uh, too much stress for you. Almost finishing now with your arms. The last uh, stretch is for your triceps. When we are doing a lot of handstand push-ups and we are pressing triceps, they are always really well engaged the whole session. So when you just lift it up and push down through your elbow, again, that's the target and you will feel a nice stretch, no pulling. Hold it for 30 seconds, okay? I will be now switching really quick. If you feel that um, one movement now that we are doing, well, one exercise, uh, the stretch is targeting really well your muscles because there may be a lot of, um, more stress than all that, just pause the video and do it a bit longer. You want to feel really loose at the end of this. If you want to work out again tomorrow, yeah, and you're planning to do a workout, crossfit workout, or even go for a run, okay? You don't want to feel too much stretch on your shoulder when you're running. And let it go. So from here, I want you to go in a child pose position. My feet, they will be together, but I'm open wide on my knees, yeah? So I'm pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, and try to reach there, yeah, as far as possible. I'm relaxing.
definition of pi. Four, two, two, one. I told you we are holding only for 30 seconds, but you can do this longer. Now, the next one, you will be targeting a bit more on your lats. So, you're here, and now my left palm will go in front of my right palm, yeah? Then I'm sitting back, sitting back, sitting back, and I feel a nice stretch on my left side. And when you hold it for 30 seconds, you can stop now the video, just start moving to the next one, and I show you now another stretch again now on the right side. And push back, push back, push back, push back. You can see it much better. This is the target here, will be your lats. Holding out together a bit longer. I mean more 30 seconds each side and then we will repeat that video, okay? Finish in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop we on lunch position together. And then from here we're gonna half split. So the target will be now your hamstring. When you lean, yeah, forward, your chest as close as possible to your knees. You can even like grab your toes if you can do. Holding here together 30 seconds. If your legs, your hip flexor, your hamstring, they're really tight, um, that will be challenged to position when you go upside down as well. And then will be really difficult to achieve a handstand. So not only your shoulder, they should be uh, nice and mobile, also your legs. Let's switch. Lunge position and push back. Very nice. Start breathing through your nose, try to relax. Finish in five, four, three, two, one, and we change position. I want you to stand up tall. Go. Be close with your feet, and from here we will inhale, and we're going to forward fold position. Exhale. You can bend your knees. Target again your hamstring, you will feel also a bit on your lower back. Chin to chest, try to relax. Now, when you inhale. One more. And exhale. And we finish. Namaste. Good job, everyone.